Hey everyone. So I have a silly little animation here inside of After Effects. Actually, I'll just tap my spacebar to play through. So you can see I've got a mirror falling to the floor and instead of shattering, it bounces halfway across the room. Hilarious, right? So anyway, here's my issue. I'm trying to work out if the arc on this mirror as it flies through the air is too tall, if it's too flat, and I'm often coming back to this very first frame as a point of reference. So what I would like to do is to be able to capture this first frame and quickly show that frame while I'm working on this animation through here. And the way we can do that is using these two buttons just down here. The first one is Take Snapshot, and the second one is Show Snapshot. So let's zoom back out like so and see if we can set that up. So if I come back to the first frame just here, I'm going to Take Snapshot. So now, if I scrub through this timeline at any point, if I click on the Show Snapshot button, so if I click and hold, I will see that snapshot. As soon as I release my mouse, it shows me where I'm currently at. So I can just click and release, click and release, and just as a comparison. So I can come in and here and go, okay, maybe I would like this arc to be a little bit taller. Jim, let's go crazy. Let's have it so that the mirror pops out over the top of the cupboard. And then again, I can hit that button as a comparison. It's like, no, that looks silly. Let's undo that a couple of steps with the command of control Z. So that's pretty cool. So being able to come over here and click on that is fantastic. But there is an even quicker way. The keyboard shortcut for show snapshot is your F5 key. So notice my mouse is down here scrubbing through my timeline. If I just press and hold F5, it's showing me that snapshot. So very fast indeed. So that's great. Um, one other cool thing to know about the Show Snapshot button is if you hold down the Alt or the Option key, what it will do is it will show you a comparison between the snapshot and your frame, effectively using a difference type blend mode. So if I come back to the very first frame, and if I hold down Alt or Option and click on that Show Snapshot button, you'll see the screen goes completely black because the frame I'm on and the snapshot are exactly identical. If I maybe drag through one frame, Alter Option, click on that button. You can see it just there. So um, the majority of the screen is black, as you would expect, but we can see the mirror in that first and that second frame just there. And of course, as we drag through and do that again, you can see the, um, the two showing up there like so, and they're getting further and further apart. So very nice there, guys. That's the Show Snapshot and Take Snapshot buttons. I hope it helps you in your animation.